Hello and welcome to the Daily News Update on Remo TV, your number one source for local news stories in Remo Land. I am Emmanuel Vitoye. First, the headline. Remo Landers Club provide life-saving medical aid to indigent patients in Shagamu, Ogun State. Apex Court declares state control of local government funds unconstitutional. MPFL, it won't be easy for Rangers to defend title. Let's go. Yule Duchi's ex-wife may join Nollywood. Let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Yes, the news in full. In a heartwarming act of generosity, the Remolanders Club in Shagamo has stepped in to provide crucial medical assistance to Ms. Motorayo Adekunle, a young woman suffering from a thyroid function gland disorder. Motorayo, facing dire financial constraints, was unable to afford the urgent surgery she needed at a specialist hospital in the government reserved area, GRA Shagamo. However, the Remolanders Club, known for its consistent community support, covered the full cost of the surgery and also provided additional funds for post-operative care and necessary medication. In a statement released by the Remolanders Club, Mr. Oluwali Dawodu, President of the Remolanders Club, underscored the club's stance in matters that require dire external assistance or support. He said, Conscientiousness in the service to humanity has always been our guiding principle. Our collective commitment to supporting the vulnerable in our society drives us to contribute and assist in any way we can. Adekule, who has shown remarkable recovery following the surgery, expressed her heartfelt gratitude and offered prayers to God on behalf of the club. She and her grandmother especially thanked Remolanda's club's social director, Olumide Badmos, for his constant support and regular visits during our hospital stay. I thank Remolanda's club for what they've done for me. I am very grateful, she said. Badma shared his emotional response to the family's plight, revealing that they had sought help from numerous sources before turning to the Remolanders Club. Hearing about their struggles deeply moved me, and I had to table the matter before the club in which everyone agreed to help, he said. The Remolanders Club successfully raised a total of 635,000 naira for the care, with 400,000 naira allocated for the surgery. 200,000 naira for post surgery needs and 35,000 naira for logistical support during the procedure. Nigeria Supreme Court has ordered governors of the country's 36 states to henceforth stay clear of the funds meant for its 774 local government areas. The Apex Court says the control of funds of the local government councils by the states is unconstitutional. The court therefore orders that funds meant for the local government councils be paid to them directly from the Federation account and not through the state governors. In a landmark judgment delivered by a seven-member justice panel headed by Justice Lawal Gabal, Nigerian's Apex Court says the Constitution under Section 162, 4, 5 and 6 doesn't provide for the existence of a joint account for both the states and local government councils. The late judgment was prepared and read by Justice Emmanuel Agim. The court holds that the provision of the constitution that funds meant for the local government councils be sent to the state is for them to act as agents of the federal government for the onward disbursement of same. It adds that the states are therefore not required to hold on to the money and use. It holds that the states are exploiting the rules handed to them by the constitution by holding on to funds meant for local government councils. The court also laments this has been on for over two decades, crippling the effective functioning of the third tier of government. The Apex Court therefore says the local government councils have the sole right to control their funds. On Spot News, Rangers technical advisor Fidelis Electrical admitted it will be difficult for his team to defend the Nigerian Premier Football League title. The Flying Antelopes won the MPFL title for the eighth time last season. 
Electrical Ashodai's crew will present a very strong team for the new season. <music> On entertainment news, the estranged wife of Nollywood actor Yul Edochi has also joined the movie industry. She made her Nollywood debut in Wives on Strike 3. Late Ed May took to her Instagram page to announce a foray in the film industry while sharing a promotional clip of the movie. And that's it on the daily news update on Remo TV. Do well to follow us on our social media platforms at Official Remo TV on Facebook, X, Fred, Instagram, and YouTube. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Emmanuel Bitoye. Thank you for listening. Bye.